video so i'm back i'm looking like a crazy it's six o'clock in the evening i'm supposed to go out of my job some of my job is over but uh, i was making sure all the stuffs are right in my place in my classroom because tomorrow we have a christmas party but before that i want to share what i did for this year for my students at the christmas party okay i'm going to do a very quick video about it because my husband is waiting outside to pick me up so i'm going to show uh what i did quick and fast all right let's start so the first thing i did with the card okay so this is a reindeer card we did so um, i took two papers here one is a yellow and a green to make it like a little bit uh, strong enough to handle the glue other um, it doesn't give a messy look it's a construction paper uh, so i cut the brown piece in a triangle this is the see brown piece in a triangle paste the bottom then flip it over, place it, again paste it, get a circular, like a red nose, paste it there with two L's and two antlers. That's it. You can make it. I did one more card just for 1K. It was a Santa Claus, like it was a kind of a um, red uh, paper like this, triangle paper, and put the cotton buds on the top and the cotton buds at the bottom. That's it. And a snow lines. So that's a card for Christmas, our reindeer card. Open it, write something in it. That's it. My next is the ornament we did. So this is the ornament with a little dangler. So this is kind of a Christmas hat I did. So this is uh, this nothing. But if you can see in the bottom, if you can show you, if you see the sides, this is the popsicle sticks so I used three popsicle sticks just give me a minute so I used three popsicle sticks make it in a triangle in a triangle I painted that red paste it in a triangle then I asked my kids to paste these cotton balls over it and paste out paper a red paper behind it so that I'm not just using the red paper because that's not going to be a tough enough it's going to wiggle so you need the popsicle sticks look the popsicles are right here right here right here then you stick the cotton balls then you stick this one triangle paper just with the glue and then you use a, a laundry clip I colored it there was something was written on it so I colored it and punch a hole here Again, the dangler, and it was just a picture. I'm not going to show the picture of a kid. The face of the kid, is really, you can cut it in any face, like a circular or an oval or something like that. And just, you can just clip it right here. I'm not going to show the face though. And you can use this ornament on the tree. Isn't it cool? And easy and simple. Yep. That's the ornament. Now the gift I did for the kids this year was a snow globe. Yep, that's the decorations we did. So first we used a mason jar. Um, and there is a tree, a Christmas tree, you get it. So the mason jar I got it from AC Moore. It was for one for one dollar forty nine cent and the uh, Christmas tree was for each for one dollars so uh, and I used some of the fake snow it's inside and I used some of the beads here and some white popsicles so just to give a look it's optional if you want it you can if you don't want it that's fine you can leave it so I opened the mason jar and I glued the button of the the bottom of the tree with the lid if you want to glue it, you can. If you don't want to glue it with the kit, it's still going to stay because it's upside down and you're not going to fall off because you have to take a proper measurement of the tree. If it's too small, it's going to fall off. But as it's big, it's not going to fall off. If you want to use the glue, you can stick it. If you don't want to use the glue, just leave it. The glue gun, I mean to say. Then you can put inside some of the snow, the fake snow inside. Look, I use some of the red glitter inside too and some of the beads if you can see uh, I asked all my students to dump that inside the snow the glitter so the beads some of the buttons um, and put the tree inside and put the lid off that's it and shake it and it's ready 
So for the decorations, I use some of the stickers. Look, stickers, stickers. And to give a cute look, a personal touch. There were some snowflakes in my classroom. Some of the parents gave it to us. So I read for which classroom it is, happy holidays and something like that. And just tie it around with a ribbon or something. And the gift was ready. And I did a little packaging with it. I used the cups, the soup cups in my school. I used some tissues, written, it's normal regular tissue and a tissue paper. And I put it inside so that it would give nice packaging. Isn't it pretty? That's a Christmas gift for me. Okay. Next day, I plan some activities for my kids for tomorrow's party with their parents. So the first thing is my Santa Claus with popsicle sticks. It's not that you can take a big popsicle stick or either so small. The big one will look better. So cut the triangles, paste it, use some cotton balls or the pom poms for the top, two eyes with the pom pom balls in the nose. And with the white stuff for the beard. That's it. Hi, sorry. Hi, no problem. So, there's one more thing. It's right here. Uh, it's a, it's again a, it's with a stick. Uh, so it's a Christmas hat. So you triangle, decorate with the sequins on the top of that. Um, you can put the cotton balls with the popsicle stick, and you make one more activity. That's the second activity you're going to do with the parents. My third activity, I did some snowmen. So here you use some glue with the um, uh, film, the shaving cream. Mix it together and just use a brush to make three circular stuff. And then you cut the papers like you get this time, the hat, the nose, and the hands, and the button. That's it. That's uh, they can do it with their parents sitting down with the paper. And that's a uh, snowman. And the last but not least, I did some salt painting. I know that's upside down for now. I know the reverse for you. It's a salt painting. So what I did, I took a printout like this, a simple printout. Then I put some, I put the glue all over to it and sprinkled some salt, regular salt. And then I used a color. Uh, I dipped my brush into the color and put it on the top. So when you put it anywhere, it's going to start spreading and you get the kind of uh, a snowy look. So that is how it's look, smudging if you can see. It's difficult to show you though. So it's kind of smudgy look if you saw a scene in front of you, like a real thing. So it's going to be a good old smudgy look. You can use any color, purple, just leave it white, or you use the yellow, light yellow, light blue, something like that. So these are my activities. My favorite one is this one, the Mason Jar Kit. Let me know which is your favorite one in the comments and the videos, okay? I'm rushing because, you know, I have to leave. So this was my card. This was my ornament. The Mason Jar, the glow was my kit. And my activities were the Santa, the Christmas hat, the snowman, and the salt painting. Please let me know in the comments and how you like it. Give me a thumbs up and let me know with some other ideas if you want it and if you have something new with it. Again, see you. Bye. Thank you for joining me. Bye. Take care.